Well, in tonight's Rebound Detroit, we take a look at the devastating effect on travel due to the pandemic. Weddings, concerts, and special vacations that took months to plan now canceled in a blink of the eye. And the heartache you feel is real. So we went to an expert for some coping skills. It's like a dark cloud is hung over Michigan. Concert venues silent, planes at a standstill, weddings postponed. And for couples like Robert and Tanya Ridley, a promise made has fallen short. When we first got married, we were unable to take, you know, go on a honeymoon. So we committed to each other that we would take, go somewhere, just the two of us every year. This year is their silver anniversary and Aruba was their vacation destination until COVID-19. Once we got close to finalizing um, everything with the travel agent, I, I started like, oh, I really would hate to get to Aruba and get sick or get stuck there. They immediately canceled. How does that make you feel that you can't go away for your 25th anniversary? I mean, this is a big deal. We both was kind of sad about it. They are not alone. Leisure travel accounted for 1.9 billion trips in 2019, but COVID-19 has nearly stopped it all, with one in four Americans saying they will wait for a vaccine before spending another night in a hotel. There's so much uncertainty and we don't know when we're going to be doing anything. Psychiatrist Dr. Deborah Hollander says spring is busy with graduations, honeymoons, and summer vacations. And with it all coming to a screeching halt, heartache is understandable. One of the challenges that I see, especially around vacation, is that people go, well, this is ridiculous that I feel bad and I'm depressed about, about vacation. I mean, when people don't have food. Robert is an avid fisherman. And you've been fishing for how many years? Ooh, 40 plus. But his annual trip up north was canceled too. So Dr. Hollander says try to recreate vacation at home, camp in the backyard. Love up north, there is a Charlevoix cam with water flowing from Lake Michigan. The Ridleys with their son and daughter home are trying to reconnect. We play uh, Uno, of course. We play um, uh, Danger Word. And we play Spain. But for some, it is not that simple. I think we have to honor the fact that we are disappointed. It's, it's, if we try to avoid it, it's going to come back and be more painful. And if your devastation leads to depression or worse, there are free community mental health programs, telehealth, and obviously if things are really desperate and you're feeling at all suicidal, I mean, there's the suicide helplines and I would never want you to not go to an emergency room. Above all else, look for the positive. I think for me, it's just thank God that, you know, you're still alive um, and your family is together. So here's the rebound rundown. Accept that you will feel disappointment. Recreate your vacation at home if you can and know there is free help if your devastation leads to depression. Dr. Hollander also says, remember, this is only temporary and recommends instead of asking why me, ask why not me. Also try to hunt for the good and be grateful. And as always in these uncertain times, email us at ReboundDetroit at WXYZ.com with your questions or your story ideas. We are all in this together and we are getting through it together. Dave.